Alrighty, and today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to play basically any game on the Yuzu emulator and 60 FPS. Yes, locked in and 60 FPS with maximum performance power. Now, I know I made a video, I believe, last week on how to increase your performance on the Yuzu emulator, but recently, the Yuzu emulator on their early access build has added a few more settings that you can do to increase your power while you're playing games on the Yuzu emulator. And this is a big upgrade. It helps games with like Smash, Pokemon, and Animal Crossing, and I believe Mario Odyssey, and a couple more um, first party Nintendo Switch games that you can play on the PC, which is amazing and a big boost and jump but before we get started with the video please make sure you guys leave a like share and subscribe if you guys are new because i'll be making a lot of emulation videos in the upcoming months and i don't want you guys to miss out on it so yeah without further ado let's get right into it so first things first i'll leave in the description down below to a 60 fps patch that you guys can use this 60 fps patch can basically you see right here can make any game on the Yuzu emulator go in 60 FPS no matter what game you're playing. It's really amazing. And it works really well, like I said in the beginning of the video, with first party games. So I'm gonna try this out real quick. I'm using it for Smash. And basically how you work this mod, um, this patch, aka mod, is you open your mod data location of whatever game you're playing. And you basically drag and drop 60 FPS patch and ta-da, you're basically good to go. Now we're gonna mess around with certain new settings that this emulator has added on the early access build. First things first, I like to keep in mind if you want the best experience as possible and you don't care about audio too much, disable it. Disable, disable everything. But if you wanna play with audio, it's no problem. It, will, it may be a slight decrease in performance, but for me, I really don't mind not using audio. And we're going to the graphics tab. We're gonna use obviously this shader cache and the GPU emulation. And then we go to the advanced tab where there's certain things, a new setting that makes you make you make your performance on certain games go a little bit more faster while having the highest frames as possible. So in this setting right here, you can go to normal, extreme, which is what I believe is very slow at this moment because it's still in beta stage. But so far, the best setting is to put it on high. And this is dramatically speeds up the emulation when you're playing games. And it helps with your frames per second, which is a major, 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 major good, good thing. And you can also mess with the, the setting too. Sometimes I like to put it at max 16x, but I'm not gonna mess around with it this time. This is only for certain situations I mess around that setting, but yeah, that's basically it. Now, if you guys want to use your graphic um, your graphics card at full strength, and this is very good for NVIDIA users, go to NVIDIA control panel, wait for it to load up. All right, we're gonna use the second slide, use the advanced 3D image settings. And then we go to the last tab. Make sure you're using and have, have your graphics card on because I know a lot of people do not take advantage of their graphics card. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then use high performance in the video processor. And what you see right here, make sure you guys copy the exact same thing I have because this is basically the best settings have the maximum performance you need when you're playing on the Yuzu emulator or any PC game at all. Because this will be very beneficial to a lot of people for whoever have a desktop gaming PC or a laptop gaming PC. Alrighty, and then after you do all of that, the best thing to do is to add it. You see if the Yuzu emulator basically add it 
make sure everything is all good. You basically apply it. And it should be all set and go. The best thing I like to do is refresh, make everything good. And yeah, you're basically all good and set to go. Another thing I suggest messing around with is the graphics tab. If you're gonna play games on f in 4K max settings, use the 4X native. But if you don't care about 4K too much, just use native. Sometimes I like to put it at 4K to see how well my PC can push these with emulator at max power. I'll just press OK for that. And after that, you should be all set and go and playing your games at max settings at full speed, which is so crazy. The last week I made a video and the user team already made a couple more changes to their emulator for you can speed up your process and make the experience much more better, which is a big, 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 big W. And yeah, I would show gameplay, but I'm not risking it today in today's video because Nintendo loves to clean my videos. But Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the things I'll leave in the description down below to the 60 FPS patch where you can play any game on the Yuzu emulator, 60 FPS, and max settings. So, yeah, that's basically about it. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.